I don't know that. Hey guys, welcome back to Alec and Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hello, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie. And on today's episode of Alec and Cook, we are showing you guys how we make our favorite vegan lasagna. So you might notice that we're in a different kitchen, and that's because we're on location. Um, we're not on location. Oh, okay, we're not we're on location. We're on vacation up in Dorset on Lake of Bays. Yeah, and um, our wonderful friend has given us full run of her kitchen so that we can make this incredible vegan lasagna that has a secret sauce, not really secret, but ricotta cheese, which is really cashews. Yeah. So we're really excited about showing you how to make up a purely vegan uh, lasagna for dinner. We're gonna actually have it for dinner tonight. So if you guys wanna see how we make our vegan lasagna, keep watching. So we're gonna start by making the ricotta cheese. First step is to take one and a half cups of cashews and soak them for about two hours. So I have the cashews soaked here. I'm just going to drain them and then put the cashews into the blender. Then the next thing is a half a cup of water, some chopped garlic, one clove, juice of a lemon, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and then just a little bit of salt. So then we're going to blend this until it's smooth. So now that we've finished making the ricotta cheese, we are going to start to cut up the vegetables that we're going to be putting in the lasagna. So we're going to be using celery, white onion, and mushrooms. Plus we're also using spinach, nice fresh spinach. Yeah. It's going to be great. And I haven't actually like figured out portion size for this. Just kind of cut it to how much you need for your lasagna. We're making a dish this big. So we're gonna cut up quite a bit of vegetables. But we're going to start to saute our onions and celery and garlic first, just because they take a little bit longer to cook than the mushrooms. I'm just gonna put a lug of olive oil, oil in, in here. A little bit more. Okay, yep. Just a little. Perfect. And turn on our stove. So I'm gonna saute it on um, medium. medium. She's cutting up mushrooms, I'm grilling up the veggies. I'm opening up the can of tomatoes. I'm gonna grab my gin and tonic. Now I'm gonna add in the mushrooms, just like that. Make sure you wash them beforehand. They're pretty chunky, so they're gonna really feel a texture like meat because we don't have any meat in this. I'm gonna put in a can of tomatoes. And that too will give it a lot of nice texture and flavor. going to put in some mixed greens. Basically this is spinach, just probably like a handful. So then we're going to add in a tablespoon of crushed red chili pepper. Yep, just sprinkle it around. Get some Ooh. spice in Okay, that's about enough because it might be too spicy. Oh, I'm into the spice. All right. Just going to eyeball in a tablespoon of oregano because why not? Yeah. And then lastly, we're just going to add in some salt. All right, so we're just gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes, let all the spices combine, and then after that, we're ready to start to prep our lasagna. So we're gonna use fresh lasagna noodles so that we don't have to pre-cook them or anything. And make sure that you purchase vegan lasagna noodles. So unfortunately, we couldn't find any vegan shredded cheese up in the Viscopas. At home, we would usually get some vegan shredded cheese and put that on top to bake it, but this time since we didn't have any, we're just putting tomato sauce on top. But if you do have vegan shredded cheese, definitely, definitely use it. We're gonna cover this with some foil uh, and bake it in the oven now for 60 minutes at a temperature of 350. So she caved guys and she's putting real cheese on it because we wish we had vegan cheese but we don't so we're using real cheese. Sorry, not sorry. 
We would have bought vegan cheese if we could have. And it's her fault. It's not my fault. I love cheese. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not we couldn't find vegan cheese. But put vegan cheese on it if you have a vegan cheese. Okay. Bye. Alrighty guys, so that is how you make our somewhat vegan lasagna. We would have put vegan cheese on it had we bought vegan cheese, but I we know. didn't. We didn't. Anyways, but it's still vegetarian. You know it's delicious, but we thought we would have some of our taste testers over here <laughs> try it out and let us know if it's delicious. So without further ado, can we have our two taste testers please? Yes. Drum roll. I'm Mike. I'm Gator Malone. No, you are Tim McManus. Uh, and are you vegans? No. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> so let's see. Let's try. Wannabes. Two thumbs up. Delicious. Ooh, yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Really? Nine and a half out of ten. Well, uh, nine uh, and a half? What would that's okay. Alright. <laughs> I wanted to know what the point five was on for. No. Presentation. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please try out the lasagna and let us know what you guys think of it. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday and we will see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. That's a cut. Are you mad that I said 9.5 <laughs> instead of 10? And yeah, because there was a hair, okay? You know what? There was a hair? <laughs> you can't be a 10 out of 10 with this in there. Was that your hair? That was mine. There you go, you guys.